Hello, and welcome back to Jenna Gets Creative. Today, we are looking at a time lapse of one of my Inktober pieces. I'm, I'm trying my best to do at least one Inktober piece every single day this month. It's probably gonna get fooled up now when my mother's here in town to help celebrate my baby girl's first birthday and all that. I am recording this voiceover on the 9th because I want all the videos that are going to go out while she's here to be done before she gets here and she gets here tomorrow, <laughs> the 10th, which is a week ago when you actually see this eh, anyway. But yeah, this video, is this drawing is from October 2nd. I did not do the official prompt list on the 2nd, I was looking at the Linktober list, the Legend of Zelda fan list, and a list put out by Curry's, which is an art store chain in Ontario, Canada, and they do really great shipping deals for the rest of Canada, so I, when I've got to order something, I order it from them if they have it, because yeah. Support your local art stores. <laughs> but uh, the Linktober prompt was species. And I foolishly did not look ahead and see that the fourth would be Goron. And I think it was the sixth or seventh would be royalty. Maybe the eighth? I don't know. I just know it's already passed. <laughs> And I, I did King Darunia, King of the Gorons, the Hyrulean Gorons. And then Curry's List, their prompt for the second was Crystals. So I picked Darunia because I have him presenting the Goron Ruby, the spiritual stone of fire, to Link. Well, to anybody, because Link's not in the picture. Wait. You get the point. <laughs> it, th this piece is inspired by the cutscene in Ocarina of Time when you've finished all of your missions in the Goron part of the game as Young Link and you're going to Durunya and he's so happy and he presents you with the Goron Ruby and dances and really enjoys Surya's song and wants to hug you. <laughs> I uh, I know the beginning when I was doing the line work may have looked like, oh, amazing, she's getting all these shapes right the first time with ink. How brave. I, I'm not. I drew this several times, and this, after perfecting what I was going to do, I traced my best sketch onto this piece of paper, which is watercolor paper. I traced it onto this using my light pad and a non-photo blue coal erase pencil. So I had my traced sketch in that really, really light blue that most electronic photography lens type technologies don't pick up. In some of my videos, when I use that pencil for my base sketch, you can see it a bit, and sometimes you can't. I'm not using it to trick you guys, I'm using it so that if any bit doesn't erase, my scanner won't pick it up. <laughs> so yeah, that, that wasn't super talent, that wasn't magic, I was just inking my blue construction traced sketch lines, and again, traced from my own images that I had drawn and redrawn and redrawn. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I, uh, as you saw, I was using my Stedler pigment liner. I really love that liner. I, I don't honestly know why I prefer it over, say, the Copics and the Microns when I'm not doing a mark illustration. I just do. I guess it's because they're the ones that live in my travel bag, so I use them when I'm not at home. But yeah. And I am coloring it with Winsor Newton drawing inks. I have clearly forgotten a lot of the 
rules of thumb of uh, ink wash painting in the nearly 12 years since I was really into doing that because I have a lot of accidental color bleeding happening. It is possible to fix a lot of that either by like really working in more layers, but keep in mind this is not watercolor. You cannot lift that color back out. This is ink. Like if you're gonna layer stuff in there, you're going to have to layer in darker colors. And since this is a fan art piece of a known character, I can't go changing colors. So I fixed some of the bleed on his arms and legs by putting an extra link on his jewelry and I fixed the bleed that went beyond the character by adding a stroke onto him at the end. But some of it you, you just have to accept and move on. <laughs> and promise yourself you'll do better later. <laughs> and here I am coloring the Goron Ruby. And instead of the Windsor Newtons, I'm using my YMX ink bottles. They are a Asian, I'm not sure if they're Japanese or Chinese or Korean or what, but Asian inks, gold dust inks, really, really pretty. I used them for the ruby because they would be nice and shiny. Those Windsor Newton inks, I bought those in early 2007. We're in late 2018 now. They are nearly 12 years old. I just found them again in my mother's garage back in July, and they all still work. Like, Windsor Newton makes good stuff. Not sponsored. <laughs> so anyway, if you aren't aware, I am running a giveaway contest right now. When this goes live, you do still have two days to enter. I am accepting entries up until the end of the day on October 18th, which is Thursday of the week this is uploading. This is going up on Tuesday, so like I said, you still have two days. I will make sure that one of the videos suggested in the end card is the how to enter video. At least during the entry period, I may go and change it to something else after, just so yeah. <laughs> but it'll also be down in the description below with a little more information. The contest is open internationally but only to my channel subscribers. So if you're new here, or if you've been around for a while but you're not subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button and then you can be eligible for my contest. You can go and enter it. And uh, yeah, good luck to you. And of course, if you liked this, please do hit that like button, leave a comment. All of this uh, interaction with videos really does help small channels. It shows the YouTube algorithm that this is something you're interested in. It helps just increase the chance that this video is going to get shown to more viewers like you. And I, I really hope that if you're enjoying these videos, you want to help us get these seen. <laughs> I do like reading your comments, I do like replying to your comments, and I do my best to to reply, except some of those contest nurtured ones are just going to be a hashtag, so I won't be replying to those. <laughs> and I do try to pin a comment on every video, sometimes not right away, but I do get in there. It could be yours. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys, I will see you on Thursday with a tutorial. That's it. Bye, guys.